All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Um, sorry it's been a little while since I've done an update. Uh, just been really, really busy the last few weeks with um, lots of doctor's appointments um, for both my wife and I. Um, just a lot of follow-up for her uh, from her uh, last year's uh, operation. And uh, I'm starting to get some my health issues starting to get looked at now, too. Um, figure I better start doing it before they catch up with me. So anyways, I just haven't really gotten much done. It's uh, I feel really uh, kind of out of touch with it right now. It, it when I when I don't work on the diorama frequently, it just I don't know. It, it just I just get kind of depressed. I guess <laughs> I guess that might be the word for it. Um, it just you know I, I constantly want to move forward, but I've had to wait a lot. I mean, it's not just because of the appointments, but I've also been waiting for a few uh, pieces to come in so that I can continue. And excuse me, one of the one of the pieces that I was waiting for was the uh, these beer coolers from uh, Pete's uh, 3D scale models. Uh, Pete has a store on Etsy. Uh, I've, I've used numerous uh, uh, pieces that he makes. Uh, he's a very good guy. Uh, he's uh, fairly uh, well, he's been out for a couple of years now, and um, he's got some pretty neat stuff, uh, some stuff that other people don't have, and he's always um, looking to uh, make things better and increase things, um, the availability of stuff, um, but he's a uh, basically a very small business, uh, He's and this is actually a part-time business for him, so you know he moves a little slower than the, the people that do it full-time. Um, but he's got great products. I highly recommend his products. Uh, his pinball uh, games, uh, you've seen before. I've featured those before on other videos. Uh, the pinball machines are just wonderful. And um, I've also used uh, his uh, back bar uh, with the taps and the bottles and everything. Nobody makes anything like that except him. And I got several of those uh, for the... Uh, the, the bar, the uh, strip club that I'm working on right now, uh, which has taken up a lot of time. Uh, so uh, Pete came out with these uh, coolers, these beer coolers and soda coolers in HO scale, which he usually does. He usually comes out with them in HO first. And um, so, of course, I was, you know, hitting him up like, hey, 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 like, come on, man, S scale, 164, please. So he listens. You know, he's a good guy, and uh, he's always trying to, you know, meet his customers' expectations and exceed them. He's a real good guy. So anyways, um, but the stuff that he had was too modern, and I needed something with a little bit older beer uh, stuff in it. So he made me some custom. He'll be, he'll be offering these, too, I think, as a, uh, a 60s, 70s kit. Um, this could be used pretty much all the way up to modern day. It's just that it has grain... This one is grain belt, and then we got paps and a and a and a Budweiser over here. And uh, I've been waiting for these because I really couldn't finish my back bar area until they came in. So now that they're here, we're going to uh, get them uh, painted up and uh, installed so we can figure out where to put everything else. Uh, but this is the piece here. Now. Is made to light up. He's got, you know, it's he's got some access to put some LEDs in there. I'm kind of concerned a little bit though about how well it's going to light up, but because this just seems a little thick here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime it and uh, paint it, and then see. I'm not going to paint this piece though. I'm going to leave this unpainted, and uh, you know it looks pretty thin. I mean I can see my finger on the other side, so probably it should it should shine through pretty good. We'll have to see. So then we got that from Pete. Uh, we also got uh, some pool tables, because we need pool tables for the bar, right? Gotta have the pool tables. And they are nice. He's got the balls on it, the pockets are all nicely detailed. You got the thing on the side there for the ball storage. You got 
on the end for the cue ball, the cue ball return there. It's, it's, a, it's a nice piece. And uh, so I got two of those. And then uh, got some newspaper vending boxes for the, uh, these are going to be in front of the bus station. Uh, I've used these in front of the Waffle House. And nice little detailed boxes. And this is stuff that's all really easy to paint. It's just, you know, painted details. The balls on the, are tiny, so I'm going to try to paint those as accurate as I can. But uh, Pete's a great guy. Buy from him with confidence. Uh, if something's messed up, let him know. Uh, he will take care of it. I had uh, one of my uh, back bars came and uh, some of the tap handles were damaged. Uh, they must have bounced around a little bit or something like that in shipping. Uh, Pete didn't bat an eye. He sent me a new one out immediately. So, um, like I said, you know, buy from these guys because if you buy from them, they'll make more stuff in our scale. So if you're doing S-scale dioramas, please support the businesses that, that I'm uh, promoting. Uh, I don't get anything from these guys. Pete didn't give me any special deals. Uh, he did make these for me, though, you know, but so I don't I'm not getting any special deals from anybody on the on, on this stuff that I promote. This is all stuff that I use that works good for me. And if I find stuff that doesn't work good, you're going to know about that, too. Um, so anyway, so so buy with confidence. Um, as far as the uh, the car kits go, the doing the lights and everything on these. I'm kind of stuck because I had a couple kits that got bad batteries. And that's no fault of, of Nick or um, his uh, product. Uh, I bought these battery, these kits like five years ago and didn't use them. And you know what it is with, with rechargeable batteries. You got to, you know, you got to use them. If you don't use them, they're not going to, they're not going to last very long. And, you know, after sitting five years in a drawer, a couple of the batteries decided that they weren't going to work anymore. So I'm going to have to order some more kits. Uh, but that's, that's nothing on Nick. It's nothing on the quality of the, of his stuff. I mean, the stuff has sat for five years and for a rechargeable battery, that is an eternity. Uh, the other ones are working just fine. So nothing to worry about there. Uh, and then I got the, the decals for the bosses and, uh, so I still need to, uh, do some work on these yet. I have to, uh, take the tampos off, uh, and then I'm going to repaint this white because when you do the tampos, the stuff gets smeared. The white gets a little bit damaged. Uh, the bottom is going to be the silver that most buses of this era are painted. Uh, and I'm just going to take the tampos off and I'm going to try to reuse the blue up here and, uh, and you know, paint this. So I can't paint anything until probably next week, maybe the following week. I still got to get some paint. So a uh, trip to the hobby store is is uh, scheduled. Uh, the hobby store is a couple hours away. Uh, the nearest one is about an hour, hour and a half away or so. So I don't get out there very often. I'm going uh, to take my car in to have it serviced on Tuesday, and that's where I take it to the dealer in that same town. So I'll go hit that and get the paint. So I'll be able to do that. Uh, what do we got upcoming? Uh well, I um, I got I'm gonna try to get the uh, the strip club finished as best as you know, as quick as I can. Um, it's hard because right now I'm I got a lot of appointments and a lot of uh, things going on. Um, so this is the first day this week. Um, Sunday is the first day for this entire week that I've been able to come down here since last Sunday uh, to do anything at all. So I figure I needed to get you guys an update of what's going on and. Uh, you know, just kind of go on from there. So a lot of things to do. Uh, when I get points like this, sometimes I feel like a, like a, like a dog in a room full of tennis balls. And, uh, I just don't know which one to, to chase first, but, um, we're just, we're, we're, we're working on it today. Uh, real windy day. So it's going to be, it might be hard to paint. I was hoping that, Today wasn't going to be so windy. I was watching the temperatures, thinking that today was going to be a nice warm day. But being typical for northwestern Illinois, up here in the Highland, we are windy as hell. 
and uh, winds are gusting 30 miles per hour. Uh, you know, so trying to paint that stuff just ain't going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this stuff ready to paint so that when I get a, a calm time, I can just run out there and do it. And uh, that's about it for now. Um, uh, we Oh, we did meet a, uh, we, I, a little bit of a celebration. Uh, we got our, uh, we have over 1,500 subscribers now. So, yay. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. I do appreciate all my subscribers. And, uh, yeah, we made 1,500. So, we're... We're on our way, and uh, just need to get the uh, viewing hours out. Of course, I need to get more videos out so you guys can watch them, and and that can that that I try, I try, <laughs> but it can be a challenge, especially when I'm not in the shop that much. So I figure I'll put out a nice long boring video today, put everybody to sleep for the week, and uh, I probably won't get another video out until next week. I'll try to get something out sooner. Uh, I do have a lot of appointments next week, plus I got to take the car in to get worked on, uh, just get its oil changed and other service, nothing major, but it all takes time. And when you live out here in the country and you got to drive, you know, half hour, hour, two hours to get anywhere, um, it just adds up. So, um, so hopefully we'll get going again on things and, uh, have more things for you guys to see. So in the meantime, please, uh, Keep supporting the channel, keep sharing the videos, keep watching the videos, uh, watch the old ones uh, if you can. You know, just uh, anything to get my view hours up would be great. Uh, and uh, we will uh, see you guys again soon.